Pope Francis resumed his activities following his summer holidays on August 1st. His first general audience had to be held in the Paul VI audience hall due to the high temperatures in Rome. He spoke of baptism to those gathered there as a way of being reborn. Los cristianos vivimos en el mundo y no estamos exentos de oscuridades y tinieblas. Sin embargo, la gracia de Cristo recibida en el bautismo nos hace salir de la noche y entrar en la claridad del día. As soon as the audience was over, the Pope noticed someone special, the Italian singer Andrea Bocelli. Knowing that summer is a time for vacations, trips, and less worries for Christians, the Holy Father also touched on these sorts of themes in the Sunday Angelises. It's important that in the period of repose and of the distance of the occupations of the day, we can retemper the forces of the body and of the spirit, approaching the spiritual spiritual path. A few days later, once the itinerary of his trip to Chile and Peru, from the 15th to the 21st of January, was published, Pope Francis sent a hopeful video message to the Peruvian people. As soon as he heard of the terrible terrorist attacks in Barcelona, Pope Francis issued this statement of condolence for the victims and their families. Preghiamo per tutti i defunti, per i feriti e per i loro familiari, e supplichiamo il Signore, Dio di misericordia e di pace, di liberare il mondo da questa disumana violenza. Pope Francis also denounced the situation of the Rohingya, the most persecuted ethnic and religious minority in the world, according to the United Nations. Rohingya Muslims are fleeing in mass from Myanmar to Bangladesh. That same day, the Holy Father announced that he would travel to Myanmar and Bangladesh from November 27th through December 2nd. Sono arrivate tristi notizie sulla persecuzione della minoranza religiosa i nostri fratelli Rohingya. Vorrei esprimere tutta la mia vicinanza a loro e tutti noi chiediamo al Signore di salvarli e suscitare uomini e donne di buona volontà in loro aiuto, che le diano i pieni diritti. On the last day of the month, Pope Francis received the surviving members of the Chapachernese soccer team in the Vatican. The Brazilian team suffered from a terrible plane crash on November 28, 2016. The Holy Father met with two of the three players who survived and then embraced the family members of the deceased.